Well, tonight is week one of the high school football season for schools across the tri-state. 44 News reporter Emmy Faisenbaker is live at North High School to preview our 44 Blitz game of the week. Hey, Emmy. Hey, Elegance. We're just getting started here at Evansville North. The teams are warming up behind us. You know, kickoff is set to start at 6.30. It's going to be an exciting night. An SIAC rivalry matchup. That's what I like to call it. Now, I actually do have head coach Doug Hurt here with me for the Castle Knights. You know, you're entering your 19th season this year. But what kind of makes this team unique in order for them to have a successful season? Well, I think our senior nucleus, that's something we didn't have last year, Emmy. Uh, we had 14 seniors, three of those were kickers. So uh, a small class, I think COVID hurt us there, but a lot more senior leadership this year. And for the first time in a while, several uh, division one caliber players. And speaking of those caliber, uh, caliber players, kind of like Benny Patterson, also Gavin Leach, really helping really intensify your defense. Kind of tell me how you're going to really use their leadership to dismantle their off the Huskies offense tonight. Well, I hope dismantle. I, I think that may be a stretch. They're a very good team. Coach Paradin does a great job. But, um, you know, we've got to have uh, dynamic play out of both of those guys. Uh, Benny up front, stopping the run, rushing the pass passer. Gavin running sideline to sideline. He's got a lot on his hand, on his plate, responsibility-wise, calling the uh, front, setting the motions, uh, making sure our nickel is in the right spot. So he's got a lot on his plate, both mentally and physically. But we really need those guys to come through and play well for us to have a chance to be good this season. Now, switching it to your offense, what are kind of the expectations here on the turf tonight to make sure that you're really executing your running and your receiving game? Well, I mean, I, I think first of all, to win a game in the SIC, you have to not lose it. And so, you know, for me, turnover margin is going to be big tonight. I uh, got to try to create turnovers on defense, not turn the ball over on offense and take good care of the football. We need Max and the offensive line to do work. And then it, it, it comes to Bowden Morgan, Morgan and the passing game, being able to take some play action shots and do things down the field, uh, hopefully created by the run game. Now that you are both very dominant teams in the SIAC, you've played twice in the last two years just because of how dominant you really are. So kind of tell me a bit about just what it is to play against a competitor that really, you know, brings out all of your strengths and your weaknesses as well. You know, I think it makes this game special. Uh, you know, I, it's the only two 5A teams in the area, and so I think there's a little bit of a rivalry there. Um, two usually uh, well-coached, high-quality teams, and so uh, been very competitive over the last two seasons. I think we took two two years ago, and they took two last year, so it's going to be important in the SIC race to get off to a good start, and I think the most important thing is not who we're playing, but we try to get out of here 1-0 uh, and stay in that conference hunt. Well, good luck, Coach. I appreciate your time, and thank you for speaking with me. Absolutely, Amy. Thanks for having me. Of course. So, guys, again, kickoff is set for 6.30 tonight. It's going to be a great matchup. Like he mentioned, they won twice in 2022, and then the actual Huskies won twice last year. So we're going to see kind of where things end off, especially once the last kick and the last reception is taken off. But again, I'm going to have all the full highlights at 44 News at 10 tonight alongside Ben and John. It's going to be an exciting night. And who doesn't love high school football being back? But for now, reporting live in Evansville, Emmy Faisenbaker, 44 News.